in some ways it's my fault, but mostly it's not. Mostly to blame is the place I grew up. The people around me all had their own plans of ambitious, intelligent goals to demand. Their agendas were based on best interests, of course, and they'd never imagined my deeds were all forced. But they wouldn't accept the ways I like to think. And when I tried to explain it, their smiles would sink. Because who wants a daughter with no career map, with nothing but fanciful dreams to unwrap? A girl whose big goal is to lay on a boat, or wander through ghost towns in places remote. The starry-eyed wanderer will fall off track and lose the potential that others have lacked, so don't let distractions veer her away from the future we know she deserves to display. So I stood in line and followed their minds, resisted in ways that I could all the time, but the days were so few when I felt like me and I had to give up on poetry. I hope you can forgive me. I found it again after decades of starving myself from the pen. My case is hopeless. I'll never be cured from the sordid temptation of toying with words, but it won't disappoint you that I'm a lost cause, that I couldn't stick to societal laws, for now I'm worth seeing. Now I can feel my spirit untethered untamed and unreal and I'm here to show you I'm here to be a screaming example of one who broke free